So we're going to show you how to do stacking with ASTAP. And what is stacking? And stacking is very simply taking a bunch of images over a session or multiple sessions and then combining them together, averaging them out so you get lots of what you're looking for and get rid of the stuff you don't want, and which in our case is noise. So um, the stacking works where your imaging camera, you take lots and lots of, um, of images and then you take what are called calibration frames. So you get darks, you get uh, flats, you get dark flats, you get bias frame, all these things. And then stacking software is really clever and it combines all the images and all the calibration frames together and then produces a, a master image based on that. So um, I'm gonna show you how ASTAP does it. So when you open Sharkcap, you press the Sigma icon and then the first thing you need to do is to load in your frames. So you've got your light frames, that's the frames with the, the images in them. Then you've got your darks, which is the calibration frames with the lens cap on. And then you've got your flats, which is the full illumination frames that you take um, to get rid of things like snow. What the software will do is it will analyze every one of those frames you've uploaded and it will give them a quality score. So it will assess what the brightness of the background was, how sharp it was, um, what the, uh, you know, how many stars were visible and so on. So that then means you can make an opinion about whether you stack every image or whether you decide to stack some of the images. ASTAP also has an option that will automatically do this for you um, and will just select the best few if you want it to do. So this usually takes a, a few minutes to how many images you've so it's processed those images and as you can see there's lots of information and data on there about it but what we want to do is go into the stacking mode so uh, once it's once it's had all these images added to it you can go into stacking and there's lots of options here um, depending on your setup whether it's a mono or a color camera and you can go through all the different options whether it needs to do bare and loads of all the cool stuff um, there's a great manual for this so you can you can analyze them but the default settings are usually absolutely fine sigma clipping on two that's um, that's the sort of usual uh, standard. And that's the uh, the stack option, and what it will do is it will go through the flats and it will go through the lights, and it will combine them all together, and it will plate solve the images, which is what you're seeing here as well. So that it will get the exact celestial coordinates for each image, which will then help it with things like alignment, so it knows what the orientation of each image is are and how it needs to stack. And this usually takes depending on how many images you do, maybe it's, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, half an hour. Also depends on how quick your computer is as well. So it's usually nice to go and get a, a cup of tea, a cup of coffee and let um, ASTAP do its thing. So it's finished its processing and what it does in its uh, viewer mode is it gives you an overall impression of the image that it's done. And as you can see, that's definitely Andromeda Galaxy. Um, the little bits of green around the edges are because I'm using an alt as mount, so I get a little bit of rotation. Uh, overall, the, the image is great. And then you've got a couple of little tools that you can play with so you can stretch the image out slightly. So that's what the, the drop down's for. So there's different types of stretching. Um, the, the option above it is also to do your arc sign so you can change the curve of the stretch if you like um, but as you can see that's a really really nice image as well of what also is really helpful with this is that the little slider towards the, the right of where I'm playing now is a saturation slider so you can really bring out the colors as you can see there we go you can really bring out the colors of an image and I found that um, the images that are produced by ASTAP have a load more color than the other tools that are available so um, so it's well worth playing with so that was very simple you know, half an hour, 45 minutes of images, couple of calibration frames, and, and it went. And here we have a, a really nice picture that we can then go and edit. You can edit using ASTAP's own uh, software, or you can go and put it into something like Photoshop or GIMP. It's great software, this.